Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Healthspan. Today we have an update on Dr. Katcher's E5 experiment. The update is based on a newsletter published by Nicholas at NTZ Publishing. The link to sign up for the letter is in the description. We did have some questions about E5 and what it was in the last update, so in this one I have included some background. First, a disclaimer that in this video we are sharing some updates that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. A quick summary of the current trial. In 2019, Dr. Katcher ran an experiment which showed a 54% reversal of epigenetic age in rats. In the experiment, he used a substance called E5, which was injected into the animals. This new trial is to see how long rats will live if they are repeatedly given E5 every 90 days. In this trial, the animals are female sprayed dory rats. There are two groups of eight animals. One is control and one is treated. The experiment started in February 2021, at which time the rats were 24 months old. This is the paper in which Dr. Katcher initially reported the results. It's available on BioArchive, so it is still in preprint and has not been peer-reviewed. The paper reported a significant change in both epigenetic clocks and the function of the tissue in a number of organs, with an average age reversal of 54%. The treatment used in the experiment is now called E5. We did make a video on this paper, as well as we have had a couple of interviews with Dr. Katcher which are linked to in the descriptions for those who would like to see more detail. So what do we know about E5? It is a substance that was developed by Dr. Katcher and was injected into the veins of the rats in the study that we just mentioned. The details of E5 are not public at this moment as Uven Research, a company formed by Dr. Katcher, is applying for a patent for it. But it does appear to contain some factors taken from young blood. Uven Research is working on manufacturing more E5 in California, along with setting up human trials. Here is the update for February 2022. The treaty group is still on its fourth dose, though it should be close to getting its fifth. No further control rats have died, though they are said to be not in good health at this moment. All eight of the treated rats are still alive. The rats are now three years old which is equivalent to a 90-year-old human, and they are approaching the average life expectancy for a laboratory rat. Let's have a look at some of the measurements, starting with the body weight. Here we can see that the treatment group has continued to track the weight of the control group, even as the weight gain has slowed and slightly reversed. It would be really interesting to know whether the composition of the two groups was the same, but we don't have that data. Looking at the grip strength, it is still significantly better than the controls, and very close to that of the young controls that they have introduced in the latest set of results. Interleukin-6, a measure of inflammation that generally increases with age, remains lower than the controls and stable. And TNF-alpha is very similar. Both of them are higher than the young controls, but still better than the old controls. Here are some images of the rats from the control and the treatment group. Can you tell which is which from the image? The treated do look significantly better in terms of coat quality. We are now getting into a really interesting territory as we approach the expected lifespan for the rats. The treated group are looking good and some of the parameters such as grip strength are very positive. Looking forward to the next update in a few months. And finally, a quick update on blue gel, now called Neil, for which the packaging has been decided. Very briefly, blue gel is a topical skin product from Uvan Research, in which the active ingredient is glycel L histidine L lysine. The product has been available for pre order for a while, and according to the newsletter, it should be available for delivery in February. Do note that at the moment, it is only available in the US. You can find more information at their website, neil.bio.